Good morning everyone. We are live. Okay. Today I am going to discuss a case and some finer differentiation between the remedies. Okay. So we will wait for two minutes till people join so they can understand the case and then we put that case and the whole video on uh, YouTube also so that you all can go back and learn from it. Okay. Okay, so I have shared this case yesterday with a group which is called as Pune Homeopathic Forum. I am going to discuss this case again for the people who have not, who is not a part of that forum. And I am going to share some more cases which would like help you to differentiate these closely uh, coming uh, rubrics or the closely coming say of the patient. You know, what the patient says and how we convert it into rubrics. What we do is we understand how the disease is impacting the person. What is the change or what is bothering him the most you know, uh, because of the disease. For example, I am going to share three cases of recurrent cold and cough or bronchitis or asthma. The disease doesn't matter. A lot of people say that please show the cases of um, you know, asthma. Or so. so the disease doesn't matter. What matters is the patient's reaction towards the disease. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the first case. This was a case of a 14 year old boy. He came with his mother and uh, the mother started talking about it uh, that, you know, he has this recurrent cold and cough. And I said that he's a big boy. He can talk on himself. On this he smiled and the mother was like, okay, you go ahead and talk about it. And then the patient was talking very, very in a low tone. It was barely audible. And, uh, you know, he was like, uh, I have cold and cough and a little headache. I asked from when you have it. He said, maybe when, uh, from childhood. I said, do you always talk so, you know, so low in tone? And the mother said, no, no, just like that. Talk fast, you know, talk a little louder. The doctor is not able to hear you. And then he, still he kept on talking. I have to really concentrate to listen what the patient is trying to say. So uh, then he said that I have cold and I said, how is it bothering you? Uh, he said, um, I'm not able to study uh, in school when the AC is on. I have to go to the sick bay because, and I don't feel like studying or doing anything. Uh, so mother said, you know, he kind of become lazy to it. He just wants, he doesn't want to do anything. And uh, one more thing is that uh, the patient said that, you know, I don't feel like doing anything. I feel lazy. I don't feel like studying. And because of the cold, I am not able to study also. Okay. So then... Uh, he was doing this kind of movements, you know, uh, like this, like this. So I asked, are you shy? He said, no, no, no. Then I asked mother, is he shy? He said, no, he's the conscious type, you know, in front of people, he become a little conscious. He's not shy. Talk now. No, no. Okay. So um, I said, are you scared in talking in public? He said, no, slightly, you know. I said, okay, because why I was asking these questions is because he was feeling very uneasy in front of me, you know, a uh, 14 year old boy, 14 year old boy, uh, you know, normally they are very confident and so he was very uneasy, conscious, getting conscious about. Then what happened was, uh, if you have any queries, you please uh, ask it in the video so that I can answer them. Then what happened was uh, that... Um, I said, asked him that, how is this cold bothering you? He said that I am not wanting to study or do anything when I have this cold. Uh, and something else, he said, nothing. So there are patients who really don't talk much and then we get very little information from the patient itself. Then what we do is ask the mother, okay, how is he by nature? He said, he's very good boy, very nice, always helping, very obedient. He listens to me, whatever I'm saying. And... Uh, very nice, you know, he's a good boy. He doesn't bother me a lot. So I asked, then she said that my younger one is exactly opposite of it. I said, how is he? So he is very, you know, very chunt kind. So I asked him, how are you with the younger brothers? 
if you are not able to find a stress uh, directly and the patient's reaction to the stress you probably you understand the dynamics in the house and then you understand that you can probe in those areas i said how are you with the younger boy uh, he said he teases me a lot and he keeps on you know going like uh, if he wants to is me and if i tell him that stop he doesn't stop and then he starts i hit him and then he starts crying and howling and then he goes to my father and my father feels that i am bullying him and then i end up with scolding so i said he doesn't listen then the younger mother ma- the mother interrupted and said that uh, the younger one is really manipulative he is not at all the younger brother is you know younger son of mine is really manipulative i said okay and this case took me normally you know it takes 7 8 10 minutes this case took me good 18 20 minutes to understand this child uh, to understand how this cold and cough which this boy has since uh, childhood till 14 years of age is bothering him so much and the mother said when he was he was small he used to exercise and play and run around and with that heat in the body the cold used to subside but now as he has grown up the studies have increased and there is more of time where he has to sit and study so it really doesn't go and it has started bothering him so we have taken lot of allopathic medicines and then we thought that let's go for homeopathy so this is the case and uh, any comments what are drugs that you are thinking of what remedies are coming to your mind what what is the main focus of the child in every case what is most important is how is the disease bothering the person how is the disease affecting the child or an adult so in this case what was affecting the child the most was he doesn't feel like doing anything you know so i took it work aversion to mental coriza during okay i'm just going to take out the yes so the rubrics that i took were in this case we can see that he is little timid and shy but more than timidity what is very marked in this case is he was feeling awkward 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 in the sense he was feeling uneasy that i'm saying that he's touching his face he's looking here and there so i took awkward awkwardness bashfulness from the mother said that he's mild you know mildness basically he's shant by nature so quiet disposition work aversion to mental coriza during this is the very important rubric when we take an understanding what is most important is that we should evaluate what is the rubric what is that thing in that case that you don't want to miss you can probably miss timidity but what is the case that you really don't want to miss was work aversion to mental coriza during uske man man nahi karta hai ki wo kaam kare we can also take business aversion to because the work is the business for him and uh, business incapacity for he is not able to do studies and rest of the rubrics that i told you and the medicine that i prescribed was calcarea cap 30 this patient came to me in 2017 i had given calcarea cap 30 three doses and he came for one follow up and after that after 2 3 years he came last week and then i asked kahan gayab ho gaye the how are you so he said that uh, Yeah, yeah, I'm, I was fine. So his mother also called called me and said that he was absolutely fine for two years, no complaints, nothing, no cold, no cough, no headache, nothing. But since two days, because of the rains in Pune, it has started again. So I said, okay. So if the remedy is right, and if you can understand the core of the patient. you really don't have to repeat a lot only three doses of calcarea carb for enough to cure him and he was absolutely symptomless for two years he was able to eat drink go around everything in the same lines i am going to tell you two more cases right so if the very common problem of bronchitis cold cough you know these problems are lingering you know these are not that you have an acute for 2 3 days and it's gone these are the problems that you that goes on you know for months or every change of weather you have that so what what i usually do is i ask how is it bothering you how is it affecting your daily routine or why are you so concerned about it so Uh, one more patient i will say he said when i have cold and sneezing and i'm studying you know in the 
classroom or when I'm going for tuitions, you know, I'm suddenly sneezing and my link breaks, you know. Suppose I'm drawing something in home and he's, he used to love art. So suppose I'm drawing something in home and suddenly I start sneezing, sneezing, sneezing. So my thought link completely breaks and I'm not able to recollect, you know, immediately, ki, oh, where were I? So I don't like that, you know. For in that child also, he was around 14, 15 years of age. I kept on asking that, what is bothering you? Why this cold is bothering you? Why are you concerned about this cold? So he told me this was the main, rest of the case was also there. But I'm just trying to explain you the most important thing in the case. So in that case, what was the rubric? I took interruption aggravates. What is interruption? Something is going on and something, there's too much of trouble from people above. <laughs> Anyways, so um, something is going and something interrupts, you know. Uh, when we used to see Doordarshan TV, there used to come Rukavat ke liye khed hai. So interrupted, that line, that sequence is interrupted in between. So when he has cold or when he's sneezing a lot, it, it you know, when he, the chain of thought gets interrupted and then that was his botheration. So there I took interruption aggravates and with rest of the rubrics, I gave Staphysagria 30. And that case also with one dose of Staphysagria 30, he never came back with any complaints. One more version, what it can be, with one more case, he said, I asked why this cold and cough is bothering you so much. And he said, you know, I am not able to work, I am not able to study, I am, you know, uh, everything is uh, getting affected because of it. It is what he says and how he says. And that saying should be uh, very, very important to the patient. You know, it is present, it is persistent and it is predominant that we have learned in the Segal method. So how it is bothering you? He said, it is the work, the, my class, my everything is getting affected. Uh, yeah, because of this cold, you know, one lady, uh, one child told me that I wanted to go into army. And uh, for that training, we have to run early in the morning for those uh, exercise practices and uh, with this uh, cold and cough I'm not able to get up and if I'm getting up I'm while running I'm continuously sneezing so it is affecting my you know my ambition or my work uh, I'm not able to reach my goal I'm not able to do what I really want to do so uh, any inputs in such case what will you take I took delusion hindered work at his and there is only one remedy, which is China. So, same complaint, but patient's reaction to that complaint vary. And from that reaction, there are different drugs. There are different core of different remedies and then you prescribe. And that China 30, China 30 is China is used on in cold or not, that is immaterial. What is important is what the patient is, how this cold is affecting the patient and how it is bothering him. So delusion hindered work at his, and I had given China 30. How, so the diagnosis is important just to understand the prognosis of the disease. What is more important is how patient is getting affected by that disease. For example, Naxwamika, how would Naxwamika feel? Naxwamika ko, He's industrious, he has mania for work, he's business oriented and he feels when he has this, he feels he doesn't want to get disturbed, he, he disturbed the worst to be, uh, there's a rubric irritability coriza in, coriza can be taken as a physical coriza or it can be taken as trifle, coriza is very trifling thing, so he becomes very irritable, he doesn't want to be talked, he doesn't want to be uh, disturbed, so disturbed the worst to be, quiet wants to be repose and tranquility desires. Quiet is, when you study a rubric, you see one, one thing. So quiet is chup, uh, wants to be, I want to be quiet and repose is rest and tranquility is peace. So he wants rest and peace and nobody to disturb him, right? I cannot see, I can see a lot of people joining, but I cannot see a lot of comments happening. So uh, I would request you all keep your understanding of the cases also that I am discussing and the remedy that comes to your mind. Okay, I know I am not discussing a lot of particular rubrics that he's better in the morning or aggravated in the morning, but that is not the way I prescribe. But here I would like to give you a tip that um, 
qualified mentors are very very important what is qualified mental qualified mental is a mental symptom with a physical modality for example uh, anger redness of the face with or quite um, the way i told in this case work aversion to mental coriza during so these these singular rubrics ya yeah, laziness coriza during or um, indolence coriza during all of this is single of calcarea cap so uh, start studying see they lot of people ask me which book you are studying please suggest a pediatric book. there is no any particular book that i am studying or this is a lot of study of the repertory and try to see the repertory in the angle the patient says or try to convert the language of the repertory in the normal language of the patient so you are able to understand and and this these rubrics are not given in a particular book this is my observation and my observation say you have to convert this observation into rubric so if you're if you're seeing the focus of the patient is that he is getting affected in his work he is getting hindered at his work then you can give china or if you're seeing that you know something that i'll give you one more example with the similar lines why i'm sharing all these cases because they have a similar thread you know there was one patient he said he also had cold and cough and bronchitis and he said i love trekking and i love climbing and adventure and all this but because of this cold and recurrent sneezing and coughing i am not able to do so in this case what was happening is the things he like he is not able to do the thing which he yeah so uh, things that he are he is very fond of you know trekking mountaining hiking he is not able to do and he was really sad about it so it is a very interesting rubric which is sadness continence from continence is uh, where you are not able to do which gives you pleasure you know so uh, as question so you you do continence you do abstinence so in the same way the patient is sad because he is not able to do something which gives him pleasure so it is sadness continence from drug like i think kunayam belladonna there are four drugs in that my laptop has the charging is not gone so i'm not able to exactly see but um, yeah in this way you have to understand the Uh, how the person is getting affected by the disease and what is the main feeling of the patient and i in that case i think i've given conai he was much much better because that was the more main focus obviously i'm not saying you prescribe on singular rubrics yes you can if if you're so 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 sure of that rubric that this rubric defines the personality or otherwise there are some supporting rubrics which you take or some supporting symptoms that you take to understand the patient in totality okay recently i'll share a, uh, i had a patient who was uh, say 50 60 years old and he had a complaint of uric acid and gout and he has severe acidities in so many years and i said that he had taken allopathy but he has not taken any you know any treatment which is very consistent and you know very with lot of hard work i said why you are not taking he said ah, i like to eat vada pav and you know uh, street food and uh, with any treatment people ask me the doctors ask me not to take all this and i i said i cannot do all this and i want to eat my food you know so his he is he was very sad and affected by restriction and uh, so i took frivolous because he was not very serious about the disease in spite of suffering from so long and various other rubrics but what he wants was freedom what he wants was he wants to be free he was should be able to eat everything do everything that was his uh, feeling you know and the libertinism freedom you know there are in rubrics uh, there are so many rubrics that they are so close you will feel that this is delusion hindered work at or this is interruption but there is a very very fine differentiation in all these rubrics the way i described hopeful optimism pessimism and uh, positiveness in the same way interruption aggravates disturbed was to be and um, you know intolerance uh, to interruption in the same way we have interruption intolerance of interruption aggravates and interruption um, aversion to so uh, 
yeah government yes government is a very good rubric but government is a where we take it government where where the patient has a liking for food you know he's a khawaiya you know he's fond of food i was also thinking about this rubric in that case but what was in that case is it is not that liking that he was talking more about it is about that he doesn't want a life which is restricted where you you don't eat this you do this you do i want to live free and that freedom is a core of belladonna so uh, when the patient talks they they are very very close uh, you know uh, symptoms coming but you have to do that finer differentiation jaise i talked up interruption aggravates means interruption ki wajah se i am going to aggravate and i would you know it will affect me intolerance is something which i would not tolerate at all i just don't tolerate anybody interrupting me when i am doing my sessions or you know interruption aversion to aversion is a dislike or a like when we say sweet aversion to a sweet desire for it is a basic liking and disliking in the same way we have very very uh, close rubrics where we all need to differentiate and find the finer understanding and this is not given in any book there is no book no amount of you know this you have to open your uh, dictionary and understand the finer differentiation and when you understand the finer differentiation you will be able to come to the right remedy you know the repertory is so vast that it is not possible that i know all the rubrics and uh, i know all the differentiation so what i have learned in all these 16 17 years of practice is you understand the main feeling of the patient don't get into hurry of rubrics earlier what mistake i was doing is the moment patient is smiling i used to take smiling he is shy i used to take shy uh, he is uh, looking here i used to take evading the look i am not saying this is not important but what is most important is you understand what is the what is bothering him most there are cases where patient talk for 40 minutes or 30 minutes and the patient is crying and saying my mother in law troubles or my husband beat me up or the boss is bothering me no doubt you can take elements from domination or disputes in the family or but what patient is talking about what is hurting the patient most is you know the patient will say yaar ghar mein koi respect hi nahi hai there is no respect in the family or the patient may say yaar itna karte hain i am working since morning i get up at 5 o'clock in the morning and i am working till night there is no but there is no appreciation it feels like i am just you know doing what is or the patient doesn't want anything and the patient feels that this is my duty and this is you know this is i am bound to do this how can i say no to this so is 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 the patient longing for appreciation or is the patient feeling that delusion appreciated she is not or the patient is dancing dancing in the sense dancing in the tunes of life uh, and he is feeling better by dancing so the remedies like cpr carcinosin would you know do a lot carcinosin would do because he feels it is my responsibility you know uh, towards the family next time i'm going to talk about carcinosin carcinosin children and a uh, carcinosin adult it is a very very beautiful remedy very often used in our practice sometimes we miss in pediatric cases so next time i'll talk about carcinosin i'm telling the remedy because you all can go read about carcinosin have pick up as many queries as you want and you can ask me if i know i will be happy to answer if i don't know we all will work together to you know find the right understand so yeah so you i was talking about a dispute in the family yeah so what what is bothering him respect nahi hai to respect kiska core hai respect is basically the core of hamanilis you know if he he feels the opinion should be respected there is no respect in the family uh, respected he is not uh, so in that way those smaller observations are very very important but the core is also very very important why all this disturbance in the family is bothering him how he is affected by that disturbance and what is his reaction what is his expectation you know yeah you know this this is basically any questions that if you have uh, or i'll just stop with these three four cases
I especially didn't took any remedy this time because I wanted to take because what was I getting the queries the most was how you study is there any book that we can study this is not written in any book you have to study a lot of uh, same medicine from many books and the best way to study is that you study uh, the rubrics of that remedy first understand the singular rubrics of that remedy and then try to understand the other rubrics so you understand the code you know this is only present in that medicine it is not present in any other medicine and there are some medicines which are very very close like you know uh, carcinosin cpr natural mure but the core is different the core of can be of dignity which is of natural or uh, carcinosin basically has a use from domination a lot and then he starts feeling it is my responsibility to take up everything and then or whether it is love and care of coculus nursing of coculus so i think 90% of the cases you can get solved sometimes the case is very very short of 4 5 minutes and you take a totality by the rubrics by the understanding of the patient and sometimes the cases are 30 minutes because the patient is in that state of crying and venting up and the patient may may say that main kisi se baat kar leti hu to acha lagta hai ya main sab man ka nikal deti hu to acha lagta hai ya patient koi mere paas aake us samay mere ko bole ki you know it's okay you'll be fine so she likes consolation or she wants to be consoled or it is consolation ameliorates you know every every word has at least five rubrics if you don't dis contradiction intolerant of contradiction aggravates anger contradiction from irritability contradiction from so if you don't dis, uh, differentiate between these four five rubrics probably aaj anger le liya kal man kiya to irritability le liya it is not like that it if, if these contradiction ko leke chhe rubric bane hain to there is some understanding behind that differentiation right and uh, try to study, uh, study the cross references also for example i am studying appreciated it is not so probably i would uh, understand longing appreciation for or you know delusion scorned being is she's looked down upon so and then find that uh, finer differentiation in those words and then or the patient is not talking about what mujhe chahiye the patient is only talking about the torment that he is going through so delusion tormented he is so how the patient is talking and what the patient is talking is very very important and the only way to understand is um uh, yes i gave a single medicine in all the situation and to be very very honest my father is a homeopath my chacha is a homeopath so we i belong to a homeopathic family and but everybody practices a uh, you know polypharmacy or specifics but i realize the kind of result that we have from a single medicine is amazing you don't need to repeat it you i have case, treated cases of asthma you know recurrent bronchitis with single medicine with single dose i'm not saying there is any harm in repeating but the more you understand the code the less the repetition will be required i have been using uh, cases in cases of asthma lm potency because i don't want to give nebulization or i don't want to give inhalers or steroids so uh, so i tend to give lm potency where i can repeat the dosage and uh, yeah i have good results with that yeah so uh, Uh, how is our repertory constructed mm-hmm. is that we have uh, symptoms of present tense past tense um, future and we have dispositions paru uh, shukla i am answering your question it is that uh, what is most important is during stress is 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 during uh, you know uh, that state of disease but if you don't get that and you can support your uh, totality with understanding of the patient for example in this case the first case i told i took quiet disposition i took yielding disposition i took mildness this is a basic personality of the patient you know to support my totality we can take that i take that i know there are different views about it but i take that so yes but uh, but when we form a totality what what we should do is evaluate the totality evaluate in the sense we should see what is most important what is most important that, that like in this case in uh, repertory yielding 
disposition children in uh, in that calcare cap was not there but i can miss that but i cannot miss work aversion to mental coriza during or i cannot miss uh, indolence coriza during because that was the patient you know so evaluation is very very important yes you can take dispositions also to answer that okay dullness we how different otherwise restless child normally yeah so fever is a very interesting topic because you have to you uh, probably we can talk about fever in one session i have studied fever extensively i have made notes on from vijaykar to understand how the patient's physicals react or understand the third and i have understand the mind also so uh, there's a small tip what you can do is uh, in search window you can put fever and or you can put heat and understand all the mental rubrics that come comes with fever and heat and uh, nothan you can probably uh, study those rubrics like for example dull you don't have dullness fever during you have dullness heat during so the patient becomes dull or the restlessness heat during so sometimes you can take fever or sometimes if the fever is not available you can say heat and uh, or irritability heat during um, two weeks back my daughter had fever and i would next time probably sh- next to next time because next time we are doing carcinosin Uh, where you can search rubric work aversion to mental yeah this is the rubric work aversion it is in the mind group uh, repertory you know the the mind section of the repertory yeah so what we there is a search window called as f4 so you press fn f4 and there is a tabular form that comes and then uh, probably uh, you can put the rubric that you want and or the word that you are looking for uh, or you can uh, press shift and question mark that you have in your laptop and then you can put the rubric uh, rubric in the sense the word that you feel is the core of the patient for example i feel the person is feeling neglected so i put press shift and question mark and put neglected in it and all the rubrics covering neglected or the cross reference would come okay uh, dr somya thanks can be used 201 m etc superficial remedies rustox these are not superficial remedies rustox rugbrinia nuxvamica are very very deep acting remedies so any belladonna is not superficial aconite is not superficial so uh, let us all come out of this fact that any remedy is superficial acting these are not superficial acting uh, acting remedies i have cured grave cases by brainia brainia has a different totality so you have to understand the brain mind of brainia to prescribe brainia in chronic cases i had a case recently of brainia where the uh, brainia ko money ki bahut chinta hoti hai business ki bahut chinta hoti hai he feels i am poor and uh, so if you if you can if you get that kind of a core in a patient with disease like anything like maybe even cancer then probably you can prescribe probably nay we can prescribe brainia and we can treat cancer with brainia ha huh. i don't repeat it that often if you feel that the the symptoms are coming back and you need a repetition then you repeat it uh, if the medicine is not able to cure you know potency is a different topic altogether when we should give 30 so probably we'll take one session only on potency and repetition we have to understand the susceptibility and sensitivity of the patient to understand the remedy i'll give you a small tip the more uh, mentals are affected and you're prescribing only on the mental totality i prescribe only on the mental but how sensitive are though you can go a little higher but the more physical you are prescribing this is i am giving general i don't usually take um, physicals a lot probably you can go to a, this is a general rule if you are if you are giving an organ remedy which has you are basing the prescription on all the physicals you have to go lower don't give organ remedies in a higher potency go lower and the more psychiatric patients where there is a lot of role of mind and the kind of totality you have formed you can go a little higher say if it is to start with 30 that is what i do all acute and uh, chronic remedies are deep acting remedies mostly remedies that brainia calcarea natrum kali everything is deep acting unless that we are giving a very uh, even aloes is deep acting you know aloes has a mind so we have to understand the mind of the aloe to give it as a deep acting we are always giving it in diarrhea no aloes uh, i had a beautiful case of aloes I, it is not very oftenly i have given but i have given in two of the cases but one of the case the video has gone and i don't distinctly remember the case but i remember that uh, the core of the uh, aloes is brotherhood sensation unification sensation um 
yeah so you have to understand um, lm potency yes i'll discuss it so it's a different topic altogether but we'll discuss that anything else that you want to ask i think i have to rush to the clinic also i on thursdays i'm keeping it really late i would request you all to please uh, join us live only because then we can have this kind of interaction that you are asking and then we can tell about the remedies it will be a more pleasurable session yeah so anything else thank you for joining it's been a great pleasure and it is this opportunity that i have started has given me also you know to go back and study and there are so many things that i am learning and i have uh, i have you know missed uh, in all these years because uh, we don't really go back to our cured cases we only go back to the cases which were not responding so when we have to present we go back to the cured cases and there is something new that we learn ha huh. okay okay so if all are okay with the afternoon session probably i will start taking it in the afternoon it is easier for me also probably i can come back from the opt and so suggest a time that you all feel is more comfortable for you all i i i'm uh, absolutely ready to take it in the afternoon okay mo begin so taken so probably from next to next thursday we try to if you all feel afternoon is a good time so probably afternoon is good for me also so yeah So thank you everyone it's been a pleasure i hope we all learning i am planning to take a small paid session with a very very less amount where i can show a uh, pediatric cases or the cases of the adult uh, the videos and uh, those of probably it would be a 2 hour session the minimum amount of 200 rupees and why i'm taking an amount is because there is a lot of sincerity which you pay it is sad but it is true but even if you pay a 50 rupees i i always feel people who come poor to my clinic and who are not affordable to pay the fees uh, i always charge them even 100 or 200 rupees because that people attach a lot of value to the money and when you pay you have a little sincerity towards it so those who are interested can message me or whatsapp me or then probably we'll plan a session on one sunday if sunday is comfortable or whatever day you suggested for two hour session and then we can you know take those video cases so you have a more deeper understanding of those remedies okay so who all are interested in that session it's a minimum amount of 200 rupees to our session you can uh, uh, drop a message and probably we will plan that okay thank you have a great day okay done i am uh, fixing it for afternoon from next time next to next thursday we'll take it in the afternoon uh 3 o'clock is fine for you all so we'll freeze it for 3 okay so next to next thursday 3 o'clock okay thank you